Okay, it's Tuesday, May 4th. Uh, I'm taking Cole for a walk. This is a different location. I'm trying to take him for a walk every day. I got so many different places that are really close to near my house that we can go for walks and explore stuff that he'd never get bored. I mean, I can think of like at least seven different places. So we got enough places to go for a walk every single day of the week. That's different. He'll never be able to get bored with a spot. He's real inquisitive and real curious about things. And he likes to go for walks. He likes to explore and look at stuff. So uh, he would like this. So taking him down this walk here. I take him out for walks just about every day. This week since we've been back. And uh, he seems to enjoy it. He especially likes it when I can let him run loose. Certain places I have to have him on a leash because there's too many people around. And uh, they have the other dogs and stuff. But if you can pick the right time of the day in the right place, he, he'll be able to walk around freely without being on a leash. Because uh, that's all they ever did at the animal shelter was keep them on leashes and keep them in cages and everything. So I want them to have a little degree of freedom. You know, if I treat him the same way he was when he was at the shelter, it wouldn't be no different. He might as well have stayed there. You know, I got him out of there so he could be able to be free and have fun and to go and do the stuff the dogs are supposed to do. I can't understand people that have dogs. They keep them chained up in their yards all day and all night, every day, every night. That's all they see is the backyard and the chain that they got them hooked up to and maybe their little dog house about three feet by three feet if, if they're lucky if they get a dog house that big. You know, that's not how you treat a dog. A dog needs to go out on walks and uh, explore and look at things and sniff around and, and see stuff. You know, keeping a dog cooped up is not a good thing. That's, that's abuse. That's what happens at the shelter. They stay in the shelter. They treat them pretty good at the shelter though. They give them uh, walks. Well, not really walks, but they take them into little play pens and let them run around and play a little bit. And they play with them with the little play toys and everything and whatever. You know, you know, you've, you've really got a good setup there. And he's got like a enclosure. It's not like a little dog house he sits in. He's got like a, um, well, it actually looks like a jail cell. But, uh, it's, uh, this is, he has a little cot there. And he has uh, his dog food and his water. Everything right there for him to get. Then every, uh, I think he gets about 15 minutes a day of playtime. They take him out in a little fenced in area, about 20 foot by 20 foot, and let him, you know, run around and then play. And they actually engage with him and play with him and play with little chew toys and throw stuff for him to go and get and play with. And then they take him back and put him in his cage. And uh, they go through all the dogs like that, do all the dogs like that, whatever. So the attention of the people there is spread out over maybe 20 or 30 dogs, you know. So he doesn't get any any time just to himself, you know, just you know one on one for any length of time, whatever. It's always shared with other people. Everything. That's why he's so starved for attention, and he runs up on people all the time. This guy would not make a good guard dog or a good uh, protection for your uh, your yard or nothing or whatever because he's so friendly. He loves people so much because he's been so deprived of uh, people and everything. He's so glad to see people that he, he loves everybody. You know, that's not so good in this kind of world. You know, I'm pretty sure that if somebody would have threatened me or a situation like that, he'd probably tear him to pieces. I'm pretty sure he would. I have no doubt that he'd protect me, take care of me. He's crazy about me. I have no doubt of that. So, anyway, this trail I'm on now 
This is a different one for me. I've never been down this way. Get out of that water. Don't go in that water. Come on. You don't know where that water comes from. Anyway. Okay, this forks this way. And it forks that way. I never knew this was even over here. I think we'll go this way. See where this ends up. Uh, that's a good thing about exploring the woods. Even though I've lived here for almost 30 years, there's still places I haven't been and haven't explored. And uh, Cole is getting to share these new places with me. So it's just as new to me as it is to him. And uh, it's turned out to be a pretty decent day. We got a little windy wind blowing. And we got a little, uh, it's a little, it's not really chilly. It's a little nip in the air. I got a jacket on, you know, and uh, there's another trail that leads down that way. I don't know where that goes to, but uh, we'll, maybe we'll check it out one day. I don't want to make too many twists and turns and get lost back up in here. But uh, got a pretty good sense of direction. I figured my way back out of here. I'm not going to get lost in the woods. Oh, there's a... I thought that was a trap. That's just a drainage. What have you found, buddy? Leave that alone. Come on, let's go. Come on. Got to make sure you don't eat that. Yeah. But anyway, he's having a ball. I'm having a ball. And uh, he's keeping me healthy. Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't be out here walking around out here today. I'd be in the bed sleeping. Or I'd be at work. I'm uh, I'm gonna go to work next week. I can't afford to stay off no more longer than uh, maybe the rest of this week. You know, it's supposed to be chilly this week, whatever. I want to wait until I get some good sunshine weather and go back to work, you know, comfortably. You know, not that it's really bad right now, but they're talking about rain all week, off and on. I don't want to go to work in the rain and be getting rained on and everything, whatever. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of spoiled because that job I had was really nice. That was the best job I ever had down there in Florida. It was nice and peaceful. Uh, I work all day. I work 10 hours, but really I only work like maybe three or four, three hours out of the 10 hours that I'm out there. We put the cones up, you know, for the traffic and uh, let the guys go to work. We stay there and watch them and we'd go around every once in a while to make sure nobody knocked none of the cones down. And then at the end of the day, we'd come back and pick them up. You know, all in between, we're just sitting there watching the guys work and relaxing. You know, not really doing anything. So that was a good job and got paid for 10 hours for doing it. You know, wasn't paid that much. If I could make a lot more money and have made a lot more money doing other jobs. But at this point in my life, I'm not, I'm not out here for the dollar. I just want to make enough money to survive. I'm not going to be extravagant and get a bunch of junk and get myself in a bunch of debt. I just want to be able to work just long enough to make enough money to um, be able to enjoy my life. Not enough money to, to impress anybody. Try to get impressive things to, because people aren't impressed anyway with what you got. If anything, they're jealous. You know, they hate you for it because they don't have it, you know. So, you're not really impressing anybody by getting expensive things and, you know, doing stuff and bragging about it. You know, when I, I, I do my videos, my videos aren't to brag. It's just to show people, you know, that you can have fun for minimal expense. This ain't costing me nothing to come out here and take him for a walk. Oh, it looks like this is the end of this trail. It comes to a stream here. Okay. We're gonna, oh wait, this goes on that way. I thought I was gonna double back. I thought the trail stopped right there, but it keeps going. Yeah. So, anyway. This ain't too far from my house. 
I'm really lucky to have this kind of woodland area this close to where I live that I can visit it every day you know enjoy myself don't fall in that water buddy and uh Cole can have his little adventure and run around and play and enjoy himself don't fall in that water Gotta make sure I don't fall in the water. That's kind of steep right there. Anyway, probably can catch some good fish in that water there. Getting a sailboat is a long way off in the future, if it ever happens. But uh, getting a kayak or a canoe, that's very possible to do. And I just may do that soon. See how Cole likes riding in the kayak, going down these streams and stuff and everything. But since I got these waterways and streams so close to my house, you know, it's a good thing to be able to go down and explore them. Look at that. That's where all the, the rainwater brought all those logs down here and jammed them up right in there. And, uh, they come down here and clear it out because I can see that it's got saw cuts on some of the wood. So it's pretty well maintained. I don't know where he went. But I'll just keep walking. He'll find me. He'll hear me talking. One good thing about here in Michigan, you ain't got to worry about an alligator eating him up. You know, I couldn't do this in Florida. Walking around a stream like this with him running around loose. I'd hear a splash and then I'd go back looking and wouldn't find a sign of him. An alligator would be and ate him up. You know, Florida's beautiful, but it's a dangerous place. Especially for a little dog like Cole. Oh, there he is over there. I thought he was doing it on the stream line. He done doubled back and went behind me. You okay, buddy? Here he comes. There we go. You okay? He's still favoring that leg, but he loves to run around. He loves to run around. Looks like he got wet. You went in the water? Did you go in the water, Cole? Yeah, he's wet. He went in the water. Yeah. Yeah, I think Cole's a, a bird dog. I think he's been hunting ducks or something. Because he's not, he's not afraid of the water at all. He'll jump right in. Sorry, buddy. You ran right into me. Go ahead, you can climb over that. There you go. Yeah. You gotta be careful not to make too many twists and turns because that's how you get lost in the woods. You know, when you go off one trail onto another trail and then you forget which trail you got off on and go off to a different trail and end up getting twisted up. You know, but uh, I kind of know this area. I know since that stream is right there, I know where it goes and where it leads up to. So I know if I stay this side of it, I'm okay. And these trails will lead back to another main trail at some point. These trails here are made by people. You know, so there's a lot of people that go hiking through here, riding their bikes and everything. So I'm not worried about getting lost. But you can't get turned around and end up out here a lot longer than you intended, trying to figure your way out. But, uh, not that bad. Yeah, we got rain a couple of days. So it's a little wet. Not too bad, but it's a little wet out here. So much for Cole's bath. I'm gonna have to have the, the lady come and give him another bath again. Wish she did a good job. I like having the people come to the house and do it, whatever. I got people next door 
There's, there's the people next door to me have a dog. Uh, people down the street. There's a lot of people in my park that have dogs and pets and everything. They might want to use our services. I'll let them know about her and tell them when the next appointment I'm going to have and see if they want to use our services. I'm just wondering if this trail connects with... Uh... No, you don't want to do that. You might get uh, your leg broken, that stuff there, buddy. Yeah, okay, you went the other way. That's good. Speaking of leg broke, I could break my leg in this if I slip off of here. See, it's kind of it's kind of shaky there. There we go. I made it. Come on, come this way, Cole. Come this way. Come this way, buddy. Come this way. Come on, come on. No, don't go in the wood. Come this way, Cole. Come here, come here, Cole. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come this way. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna keep following this. And uh, yeah, see this has been maintained. See how somebody cut this log here so the trail could continue. That's for people on bikes so they can be able to come right through, you know. And uh, don't look like they got to that one yet. Either that tree just fell recently <clears throat> and they hadn't been down through here to uh, cut it, people to walk through yet. Or to ride their bikes through or just uh yeah so they just haven't gotten to it but uh anyway i'm continuing on through he really loves this i like it too but i don't get to do it as much as i would like to because i don't have anybody that wants to go doing this kind of stuff walking around through these trails and stuff that's not for everybody you know but uh dogs love it you know they really do and I love it I know this video is kind of long and uh drawn out but uh I like watching this kind of stuff and I like doing it. It's fun. You know, but like I said, not everybody wants to do it. Some people watch this video and be like, wow, this guy's just walking through the woods with his dog. Cole, leave him alone. Come on, buddy. Come on. Doing, Sorry, I didn't think anybody would be out here. No, it's all right. Yeah. Beautiful day to walk it. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, fishing? Yeah, I was fucking around a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, this trail leads to, um... Well, we follow this ride, it'll lead you back out. Back out to, uh... Where'd you come in at? I came in on Ryan. Yep. So follow this. You should, you'll, when you get around this, the water bend there, uh -huh. there's a, a, a wooden, uh, a wooden, uh, staircase. Uh-huh. And it'll lead you back out to the Ryan area. Okay. All right, thanks. We'll figure it out. Come on, buddy. Keep, keep going the way you're going. Come on, let's go. Yeah, see? People are pretty helpful. You ain't gonna get lost out here. You're gonna see people constantly, you know. But a day like this, with a little overcast and acts like it's gonna rain and whatever, not too many people be out, you know. I've been on this trail before. Not this particular one, but further up and it'd be packed with people, you know, because there's a cider mill right up the ways up here. They got really good cider, and they got donuts, and they got chocolate, and all kinds of stuff they sell there. And uh, people love it, and I love it too. But like I said, I don't get to come here that much because I don't have anybody to come up here that wants to do this during hike through these woods. You know, you know if you got a woman, she don't want to do this kind of stuff. You know, she'll tolerate it for a little bit, come with you, you know, but she, her heart won't be in it. She'll be complaining about the bugs and about the, the, um, 
the heat or it'll be something wrong that you'll have a problem with. You won't be able to enjoy yourself because you'll be listening to whining and complaining the whole time. And uh, you just won't be able to enjoy it. You know, now of course there's some women that they are down with this. That they'll walk your legs off. You'll be dragging trying to keep up with them. But a dog, you ain't got to worry about none of that. Whenever you're ready to go, it ain't going to ask you, how is the weather? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it raining? Is it this? Is it that? No, a dog ain't going to say none of that stuff. He's going to just jump in the car and go. And you're out. You know. So, oh, I remember this area. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember that bridge there when we was walking through the trails before. Good thing about this area here, these trails here, a lot of guys like to ride their bikes through here, the mountain bike. And uh, on a day like this, it's wet and dreary and it's work hours, so they probably get work. They're not gonna be out here messing around. Okay, yeah, that's the trail right there. That one leads back up to the road. This one here leads all the way down to the cider mill. You okay, buddy? And that leads up to the main trail, I think that way. We're gonna go this way and go up to the main trail and uh, see what we can see. And, uh, yeah, look at that view right there. It's really nice. I like to bring a tent back in here and camp out overnight, you know, listen to the sounds. I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit, let you guys listen to the, the wildlife.
I'm just gonna see what's up here and we're gonna head back because uh, it's been 46 minutes and we've been on this trail here. Cider mill loop, how and pound. All right. I think the cider mill is that way. The car is back this way. You don't want to go down there, buddy. So there's a stream on this side as well as that side. So, come on, Cole, let's go back. We're going back, buddy. It's a little rickety bridge we came across. This trail is a little bit more wider. It's more suited for riding your bike down. It's getting a little warm. Got this overcoat on and I'm uh, walking. I should have left this at the car. A little, a little warm, but you. I wanted you guys to listen to the the birds and the animals chirping around for a little while without listening to my jabbering and listen to me talk about nothing particular. Just enjoying the scenery. Huh? Looks like they, there's a gate right there. I don't know if we can go across there or not. It may stop there. We may have to go back around to get back on the trail. I hear people. What's going on, buddy? What's over here? Nope, we can't go that way, buddy. There's the end of the trail right there for us. Come on, let's go back. Come on, Cole. Let's see, that leads to what? I'm not sure. We go back to where we came. So, anyway, I'm gonna go on back. We back, back, we'll backtrack across the bridge we came across and then back back the other way. And we'll we'll get back to the car. Uh, it took me 46 minutes to get this far. It's probably gonna take me another 46 minutes to get back. Maybe if I can find some shortcuts or cut a little time off the, the journey, I might can do it in 30 minutes. But uh, that's long enough for this video. If you stayed and watched this to this point, I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you like this, I'll make more like it. You know, my arm's getting a little tired, but I got two arms. I could I could use the other arm and tape more, whatever. But uh, let me know if you guys like this or if it's too long. Let me know. I'll shorten it or I'll, uh, you know, cut it up and edit it a little bit so it ain't so long. But uh, I kind of like this. It's like having people walking along with me. Okay, Cole, which way do we go, buddy? We go down this way or do we go down that way? Yeah, let's go that way. Yeah. Take it easy, buddy. That's steep. Yeah, this is the way we came. Keep going. You remember the way back? Okay, anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.